Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft! My name is Twitchy and we are playing on my server which has been mysteriously empty for the past week. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. Everyone seems to have just got busy at the same time but I have been busy. Look at this. I have been building away. For the longest time now I have thought that this building here needs uh, building up. It needs more. The red was a good start, but we need to get some sort of uh, rainbow on the go here. Obviously, we're going to have like magenta next and then purple, and I think that would make a beautiful building. Maybe we'll top it off with white. Maybe we'll top it off with black. I don't know what color the roof will be, but I really want to have a word with you guys about interiors. Now, Gorgon Opsid is the exception to this rule, mostly, mostly. Um, almost every floor in Gorgon Opsid house has had a few things thrown down. Even though it's mostly just a nature reserve, you can see that every floor has some things going on it. And it, it's beautiful. It's nice. It makes you feel like this is a place that gets used. Unfortunately, almost every other building around big old empty void spaces even over on this side we've got it over here so i thought maybe i needed to build a building that was going to lead the way and show even spawn even the spawn building that was supposed to be all full of helpful hints and little little things like that i'm missing a bit of glass there but you know even it's only got one floor filled and this this is something that needs to change so I've been working on this building for a few days now. The biggest problem has actually been uh, the black dye. As I'm sure you can imagine, uh, the squid don't spawn all that often. And when you do, even with the looting sword, you only get a couple of ink sacks. Four at the very most. And that, you know, it's a fortune type scenario. You're not going to be getting all of them uh, every time. And as you can see, it's not like I can just come over here and kill them as we're doing. Even the wandering trader, the wandering trader who will sell you three uh, black dye for an emerald will only sell you up to 36 a time. That's 12 trades. So I have been uh, a little bit lacking behind in the build because of this. But I thought it's time. I thought it was time that I showed you exactly what I've been up to. So coming through this way, this was originally going to be uh, bubble columns on both sides. But then I realized that really... That would be horrific. Think about it. You'd be traveling on up and then you try and push forwards. And even though this one's open all the way, I don't know whether every floor is going to be or whether it's just this one. Uh, and then you can pop out. But we all know the bubble columns that go upwards. They are excessive in speed. I really do mean excessive in speed. It's just over the top. But anyway, welcome to my lovely place in here. I think this is nice, roomy. It's got a beautiful look to the area. We've got a little kitchenette over this side, of course, with a, uh, a potion stand over here because everywhere needs a brewing stand. Two methods of cooking. Of course, a fridge full of building materials because what else would you put in your fridge? I kind of like this, but I don't like it from the outside. You can see we've got like chests and door and, and, and just a block of uh, sea lands in there. I'm not, I'm not overly fond of that, but from the inside, it works really well. The ubiquitous uh, cauldron of water, of course, a little uh, dinette, as I was uh, saying earlier. You can see it's a little bit weird. If When we're coming in, it looks perfect. It looks exactly the right sort of shape size, proportion, everything we need over here. But of course, when we come over this way, it's actually a little bit shorter than you would expect, but it works out fine. If I don't even point it out, we don't even notice. We've got plenty of lighting around, and of course, a wonderful balcony looking out over the ocean. I was kind of hoping to build some furniture out here, but I've just, I've been dry of ideas. Speaking of dry of ideas, here is the bedroom. Bedrooms are pretty awkward one to build, because obviously I want to have a working bed in here. I could obviously do things like, you know, four blocks of black wool and put some white wool at the top and then you've got something that looks like a bed but i wanted a functional thing so i put this kind of like surround round it and i'm not sure if i like it it's the weakest piece of furniture in the flat to be honest but it, it will do and i kind of need to put something there maybe just a little bedside table a dressing dressing table maybe a dressing table something here to look out the window at uh coming through this rather stylish uh, wall wall door wall doorway thing here uh, i like it i like it a lot maybe i could have used a different trap door but i was using the spruce trap door over here now this piece of furniture I just straight ripped off of Reddit. I can't remember who the Reddit user was. I'll, po I'll post his name up on screen. Uh, but yeah, I, I saw this on Reddit. I went, brilliant. I need something for a bathroom because this is a bathroom. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, up here, we've got a little push button. You push that and you can go like get yourself clean in the shower. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, as with, ev wh where is it? There we go. As with every bathroom, we've got a cyan carpet on the floor because what what else would you put on the floor? The carpets were actually quite an awkward thing to deal with in this place because obviously the bright red 
stripe of the floor is quite an integral part of the building design the, the the bold rainbow working its way up very very important but that did mean it was quite awkward to try and furnish as you can see trying to keep within a color palette that worked uh very very awkward indeed uh but i want to i want to try and build something with you guys right now that's not the button i wanted this is the button that i wanted uh out here i'm gonna make it sort of a cloakroomy area something like that somewhere where people come and put their stuff maybe i want to actually put this on this wall over here. Let's put that one. No, not like that. Also, do you guys see the terrible, terrible field of view effect? That's that's what I'm looking at, talking about. Look at look at Wise's house over there. If I just kind of look at the door, it disappears and the door comes into focus. If I look away, now that that's that's kind of something that I can turn on or off. Let's go and do that. And that of course was on the lowest setting, and you can see now it doesn't happen at all. But look at my stars. Look at this, the stars get blurred out and like the uh, the torches at a distance and stuff like that. You said, look at that sea lantern. Uh, you, it doesn't look very good. When I Even the uh, end rod over there. Let's just zoom in on it. The end rod that is just on top of a little build over there. It, it just diffracts out and breaks up. And I, I really don't like that. So I think I'll be changing my shaders again. But anyway, that little diversion there from what we're actually supposed to be doing. I'm going to put these down like this. I think we're going to put an end rod there and an end rod there. Uh one down here quickly because i need to jump on top i'm not sure whether i want to use these or trap doors or uh, anything like that but we'll try the carpet for now okay that's cool that's cool the other thing that i've got is a whole bunch of armor stands can i no i can't all right fair enough maybe i should have put them there before that can i push them in i can't i do have the armor stand book but not everybody's been able to use it so i kind of don't want to is this how i'm gonna do this this Oh, this feels painful. Okay, they don't go past that anyway. They don't go past the uh, the end rod anyway. Okay, I'm going to have to go get something else. Hold on, guys. Okay, redstone box from the pub. Let's pull this out here. Put two of those down there. I'm going to need some uh, normal blocks, I think. Let's try starting putting this here, this here. Am I going to be able to put some acacia planks on the front? Okay, cool. Let's also then power this and see what happens here i think i think we know what's going to happen here right yeah beautiful did it go mm, getting close not quite where we want it what happens if i just do this okay all right fair enough uh let's try something else well welcome back to twitch he tries to do something that he thought was easy but actually turns out to be a lot more difficult let's see if this does what we need it to do i mean that's a good start let's try one more i'm not sure if it is actually what we need but <sighs> Like I say, good start. All right, I'm not sure if this is going to do any better. I pulled this rod back and put it over there, put the armor stand down. Okay, it's looking a little brutal. Uh, the next thing I want to know is whether I could then put a door in the way and then maybe use the armor stand to push that. That, that would be great. How about if we do that? And then could I just slam the door down or is it going to get awkward? I think it might get awkward. Let's think about this. I want to put it actually right here. Okay, I reckon that door's going to pop, but let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. What else can we do here? We could not care and call it success. Success! All right, awesome, awesome. Let's put the carpet back on top where it belongs, and we'll take this as a coat hanger. Somewhere to come along and hang up your stuff. Maybe you're a lightra if you're here uh, visiting. Uh, oh, I, bro I broke mine. Let's say that I want to uh, hang up my hat. There we go. Beautiful. I come in, I hang my hat up, and then I can, like, take it as I leave. Nice. Beautiful. Now I just need to try and make the rest of the place look nice and be well lit. But let's not worry about that. I want to show you guys some other things. Let's go outside of here, because I have made a prismarine shop. It's not really a shop. It's more of a dispensary. Uh, I do charge for the sea lanterns, because whilst the... What's the Guardian Farm was a group project, and we all did very well on it, and I have handed out sea lanterns, stacks of sea lanterns to people. Now, these have taken up my AFK time to, to get these. So it's just a single gold block for a stack of 16. I'll take a, a diamond for half stack, something like that. Sounds brilliant. Uh, prismarine bricks, prismarine, for free. Uh, I just, just come and help yourselves to these. I've got, like, chests full back here. I want to fill up all of this, and, and I can... And I can. It's just having the time to move stuff from here to there. All right. So the next thing that I want to get on with is all the way down here. And it's actually dark and spooky down this way. So I'm going to take a torch. I probably should have actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go sleep. 
Ah, oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. I bet I've already got this one. No, man, that guy's wearing thorns. Uh, no, he's not. He's just got his bow out. Oh, okay. So let's go back and let's do a little talk. What have we got here? Chirp. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think I've got that one. Just make sure that it was only my gold helmet that broke, not my uh, not my wet hat. I have a tendency to wear the armor that I pick up off the bad guys just because I don't really want to waste mine. Okay, well, let's go for a little bit of a walk and uh, let's see if I can impart this vision to you that I have here. So we're coming down here. We've got a great big sign. Welcome to City X's spaceport. We come down here and the first thing we see is like, I don't know, a Saturn V replica or something like that. We're like, oh, wow, look at that. Uh, we come around here and we're going to have like some sort of like offloading. We'll need like a, a, a rail station somewhere for the little horses to live. Uh, somewhere for your minecarts, your boats. There, there just needs to be a general transport hub in this sort of area. Then, of course, you go inside towards the uh, what would be like the airport proper if it was a spaceport proper. If you see what I'm saying, somewhere where you go in, you got your your gates. Uh, sorry, no, your check-in desk over this way. Got to be a check-in desk. Maybe some sort of security system. We'll have a whole bunch of shops for people. You know, so sell the stuff to the people that are trapped inside. We'll have to fill this in. Uh, and then over this way, we'll have the actual gates leading out. Maybe we'll flatten this off a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just uh, roll with the land. Uh, hey, Piggy. Uh, yeah, hey, Piggy. How you doing? Totally on the naming of animals right now. And then over here, we have a giant, giant wasteland. Well, it's not a wasteland. It's a birch forest. But to me, that's good enough as a wasteland. And over here is where I want to build a whole bunch of ships. This, uh, this river here... Dislike it. Let's cover it over. Uh, we'll build a whole bunch of ships. We'll have everything from the Millennium Falcon to the Enterprise to Babylon 5. I don't know. What, what ships came out of Babylon 5? I can't remember. Um, I, I'd, I'd like to have all sorts of ships. Maybe with some giant ones up in the sky. But of course, the giant ones up in the sky would be um, small because... If there were two giant, they'd be touching the floor because we've only got 255 blocks. Uh, but yeah, I think over here would be a great area to, to basically flatten out. Now, we do have people living over yonder, but it's all right. It's my brother, so uh, I think he'll understand. Oink. Oh, guys, this is awesome. Oh, amazing. Mega Whitewater has come along and he's made himself a little place to live here. This is great. There is one small issue that he's made it four high when there was a five high gap. I'm not sure what his feelings and thoughts were behind that, but, you know, this is what he's done. It's looking good, though. He's definitely got a much more filled up area than me. We've got a bedroom over here. Beautiful. The ever-present Ender chest is, of course, needed. What's he put in here? A whole bunch of building materials. Nice, nice. I wonder whether those scaffold are mine or not. Uh, over this way, we've got what I assume to be the main living area. We've got a whole bunch of unused barrels over here. Got campfire sword. Wow, why has he got two sword, cut uh, sword cutters? Uh, but this is good. Cool. This is cool. This is like a lived-in space. I am all about it. Look at all the carpet here. Bunch of uh, bunch of pistons as well. And then, of course, we come through this way and out onto the balcony. Beautiful. But you know what else has been worked on, guys? Here. Let me... Oh, it's my face. Let me show you. So swimming along the shoreline of sp uh, Spawn, it brings us along to a nighttime area, which was not quite what I was after. Wow, wise. This area has been totally blown up as... Uh, is that is that intentional? Is that intentional? I kind of feel like it's not. But over here, you look at this. Look at this. Go get a proper reveal going down the road. So here is one of the main shops. Well, this is this is the promenade. This is what I've been calling it. This is the promenade down at Spawn with a bunch of shops that nobody ever wants to build in. But we've got a bunch of shops here. And if we turn around, you can see that we've got a brand new building here. Now, you might remember that this was actually quite a hilly and uh, forested area. Uh, we had a stream where I came along, did a great flattening, Mega White Water also helped me out immensely there. Uh, so we've got a whole new thing going on here. So we wander on up the stairs and we are overawed by this building. Look at that roof. Look at the curve of this front building here. I love it. It literally took us three hours to figure out how to do this curve. And then when we did it, we actually did it a few too many blocks over that way. And I ended up having to rip down the entire thing and move it five blocks over this way which ended up like leaning it over a bit of an overhang and stuff like that but it made sure that it ran it all lined up on the back incidentally if you guys are wondering here's a little workspace out the back here where i've got a whole bunch of shulker boxes for building stuff a stone cutter a bed to sleep in to keep me safe at night and then around the back well i mean let's talk about inside first inside i've got a couple of uh, desks on the go i'm already not sure about the layout of the desk but they come back here and they go, hi hi how can i help you welcome to xxx travel how can i uh, uh, how can I assist you in your journey forwards? Uh, and then we have three separate lines, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we're going to have like Federation 
Star Wars and some something else generic ships over here and of course the brightest thing you see is a no entry sign as is typical in most of these official buildings uh the biggest entry uh, the biggest signage is for stuff that you're not allowed to do uh technically you're supposed to come in through this door but you know i know whatever uh, people come through whatever way they like uh, and then come across to this diagonal cylinder maybe type thing it, it's kind of it's a nice little corridor that runs up on the uh, on the diagonal here i've got to say let's just get to one of my favorite views in this place if we come up and line ourselves up with here do you like the way that we've got this weird pattern with like one light side one dark side i i really like that that should be used elsewhere uh ver very much very much and then out the back we did even a more flattening and i really do mean quite an excessive amount of flattening back here you can see that we've cut off some cliff faces up top we're going to have like vertical rocket launches and over here we're going to have uh horizontal launches things like uh space shuttles from the federation are my uh my classic example out right now and in fact the first one i'm going to build is the uh denube class uh, as in like the river, but the uh, Denu class runabout. It's called a runabout. It's slightly bigger than the shuttle. It's from DS9, Deep Space Nine, for those of you not uh, being Trekkies out there. But do you guys see that over there? There's been a lot of building going on over this way, and I think we need to go and cast a critical eye across it. Squid, 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 squid. Mm -mm, that will hopefully give me enough squid for another level of glass around that building. Maybe eventually by the end of this episode we'll actually have this building finished. I mean, technically the floors are now finished. Maybe we want to put another uh, sort of null colour up top. White or black or grey or something like that. But I like the rainbow spectrum, continuity, smear, whatever you want to call this. The following of one colour from the other. I like what we've got going on here, but of course we need to finish the rest of it. But Cubic, Cubic has been busy. Now I want to show you guys cubic's place anyway in fact we're not going to come from this way we're going to go down the road a little way go past mrs build and i'll show you how i feel is a better way to approach this area okay so first off we've got this empty plot over here uh we really need to fill this up with something quite impressive it is literally right in the middle of the city so it needs to be a thing unfortunately everyone who's building has decided they want to go one step removed that's fine this is mrs building look how big it is all the snow that was involved Chests and chests and chests and chests of snow. I helped with that, but nowhere near as much as I should have, probably. But here is Cubic's Tower. I don't know exactly what he's called it, but Cubic's Tower. It's this building and that building over there. Both conjoined, looking very, very nice. He started off with this one here, and I really love it. I particularly enjoy what he did with the roof line. Let's come over here and have a look. There we go. Roof line is going on. I love it. It's, it's just looking good. I assume that is Elytra. Um, if anything, I would say these... Cool, these... Um, windows on the side that look to be actual lift shafts could go with uh, could do with having the pattern carried on up because you know it just it just kind of stops and then there's big blank spaces but that's that's something that i've learned in minecraft after many years of playing that when, when you have like big flat spaces like that you generally want to break it up quite well but I, I, I literally have no room to speak because, man, look at the state of Cubic's build here. It is amazing. But he's also working on something else out the back. I just love the, the feel of this. It's just so uh, towering and uh, canyonous, I suppose is a word. Uh, he's also going through and doing a few of the interiors, though I feel he... Uh, may have lost <laughs> may have lost his way with the interiors but that's fine and then he's working on a new a new site out the back here uh, i'm not going to go any further than this because you can see that he's he's nowhere near finished but he, i believe the idea is up top he has nice people uh, you know rich people and down below he has the uh, the slums underneath the plate which i think is a great idea um yeah, I just think it's a great idea. Uh, really looking forward to seeing how that turns out. Uh, down this way, he's done a little bit of extra work. Uh, th this is good. This is fine. This is uh, okay down this way. He said he wants to put down a bunch of umbrellas and stuff like that to uh, protect people from the rain. And I think that's great. But I've got, I've got to say, as I said to him at the time, as a, um, as a server admin who has set up a whole bunch of stuff for people to use... Putting down a small shop plot on smooth stone rectangle, just build, no ask. No one's going to build here. No one at all. Uh, unless you yourself do it, Cubic, people aren't going to come around and do your building for you. It's the same with this space down here. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, build, build a three-floored shop. Uh, yeah, and no one's going to do that unless you are the person to do it, Cubic. Just, just giving you a heads up, buddy. Just giving you... Well, may, maybe I will. 
but uh, I don't have any shops to go in that space. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna see my uh, my theory on that, here is here is Wise's tower. He has gone round. He has asked people to come along and put a floor in each tower. You know, please please come along and put your shops in here. Um, can you guess who the only person to do that was? Somewhere amongst that entire tour, I have managed to turn my shaders off. But here's the look of all that sort of area now. And more importantly, here is the look of the spaceport. Oh, it's looking good. You can just about see a thing poking out back there. There, that's right. I have been doing a little bit more work. Splash. Also, this chicken has been uh, kind of chilling out here, making, making eggs all the time. I'm not sure who actually caused that to be a thing, but, you know, I kind of like chickens around sometimes, but maybe not in a spawn. Okay, so uh, in between all of that, I've been going around, I've been doing a little bit of work. One of the first things I want to point out to you guys is look at this tiny rocket. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be the final design that I'm going to go with, but I wanted some... I'll take these back, actually. Uh, I wanted some form of statue out the front here, something to show that this was a, a place of transport, and I thought this would be a good start. We'll have a little bit of a, uh, a, a fountain underneath and maybe some, like, cobweb showing smoke. I, d I don't know. I don't know. That... That's a plan. But over here, you can see that I have been doing a lot of work. Now, at the first glance, this kind of all seems the same. Apart from we've got some red carpet over here and over here. Uh, I had actually re supposed to write the word Metro in a banner over, over the top. Uh, it turns out that I had forgotten to do that during the stream in which we did this. Now, mostly we didn't do this. Mostly we worked out the back. Uh, but this has opened up a whole bunch of space. I've also come through and opened up some sort of like platform area. See, I've got space for two lines to go out over that way. This, of course, is going to be our metro slash subway slash underground railway, whatever you want to call it. Uh, my main idea with this is just to take it to town centre to begin with. So you see the collection of cubes. All I want to do, well, um, when the collection of cubes got built, this is Forest Place. Um, there was a little building, you can't see it, uh, that's kind of hugged around the edge of that. Uh, Zed has abandoned that building, says he doesn't want to use it anymore, so I would like to bring through a, a station right there, and I think that would be good. But let's have a look at the thing that has been causing me the most trouble. We come out the back here, I have been working on some civilian transport vessels, because that's... That's what the majority of this guy's transport's got, uh, not transport, business model is going to be, civilian transport. Maybe out the side, this side, we will have, like, cargo, private vessels, stuff like that. But right now, we've got a space shuttle, or rather, a runabout. This is part of the Federation from DS9, uh, the uh, Danube, 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 I, I never know how to say that that place, that uh, that river right. I, I'm very bad at the local geographies. Uh, but it, it works out quite well. I had a bunch of trapdoors in here to uh, show the separation between cabin and, um, sorry, cockpit and cabin. Uh, but I got a level with you guys. I actually built this in the wrong place to begin with. If we turn this on, you can see how it's like quite nicely nestled in amongst all the uh, the grid here. Uh, when I first built it, this, this nacelle was like proper over here. Uh, so I have ended up ripping it down and moving it all back. But one thing I don't like, one thing I don't like is this floor in here. You can see that my floor looks very much like the floor. And I don't like the floor looking like the floor. I would rather that the floor looked like its own contained thing. Now, I had a quick word in Discord. I was like, hey, guys, got any suggestions? And uh, Wise came through and was like, have you tried either granite or andesite? And I was like, no, I have not. I've got a feeling andesite, though, whilst we are using it up here to be part of the car cargo modules yep of course i mean look working barrels and everything up here uh so yeah whilst we are using them for the cargo modules i feel like that would also kind of feel a little bit too much floor like so let's go i've got some smooth stone slabs but uh, the suggestion of granite was made i'm gonna take like i don't know let's take a dozen of those and then maybe a few of these ones as well that's not how the uh, saw table works okay let's let's try that let's see what we get Okay, let's ignore the fact that I had to run back to the UFO to grab myself enough uh, enough granite to do the whole thing in here. But it's looking good. It's looking a lot better. I like the fact that I've used the polished granite and the uh, not polished granite to delineate a pathway for people to walk along. Uh, whilst I was out, I also grabbed a whole bunch of stuff to uh, to do sort of like internal decorating and detailing with. Like I said, I had these two dividers up here, so two dividers have gone down. And of course, we come into the cockpit, we've got somewhere to go boop, 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 and press all the buttons uh, and do the things that we need to do to fly this bad boy out here. It's looking good. Oh, I meant to bring a 
uh, an iron door there. That's a, a little bit of a shame, but as uh, as is obvious, we're really supposed to be looking at this from here. And with that, I am going to say, as soon as I hit the right button, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. We're going to work on something over there, maybe a uh, an X-Wing or something like that. Uh, I don't know about that, actually, because I kind of want to say, uh, well, I kind of want to make this all um, person transport, crew transport, slash cons uh, customer transport, slash passenger, slash tourist, you know, whatever we can fit in here, I want to do that. So let me know uh, what your favorite passenger transport ships are, because, you know, I'd like to build a whole variety of things here, but I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.